Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to give you guys a quick look at the M40 three times magnifier. Overall, with all things considered, uh, in this price point, uh, I really don't have a heck of a lot bad to say about it. Uh, I have uh, an EOTech uh, magnifier and in comparison you are looking at this guy I can drop a link down below for you to go check it out for yourself you can pick this up for a hundred and twelve dollars the EOTech was six hundred dollars the one nice thing uh, uh, that uh, that I like about this is um, and it may not be something that you'd go well, how's that a good thing but it does have a little weight to it because good glass is always heavy and overall the clarity uh, on it uh, shows that they have used uh, some pretty pretty decent glass what do you get in the box you get the directions a cleaning cloth uh, it will not be uh, connected to the mount uh, so you have the the mount and then two different uh, sets of screws you have a absolute co-witness which is what I have it set up in now with a shim plate or you can do the lower one-third depending on what scenario uh, that you are working with um, Picatinny rail mount put it on oh I <laughs> due to the fact that this is now woke tube and uh, the United States of America as we know it is uh, under a commie regime um, I'll just have to hold it and you'll just have to assume that it goes say somewhere in this area and once you uh, have that uh, as close as you can uh, as close as you can get uh, in this particular case I would you know recommend that you just take off your back uh, flip up or whatever you're using and literally align this as close as you can without it hitting uh, you'll get the best uh, clarity and everything out of it. At least that's what I found. Maybe your eye is a little bit different. So on and mounted. Uh, like I said, establishing if you are a lower one-third or uh, an absolute co-witness. Then at that point, uh, what you're going to want to do is uh, look through uh, your red dot. And this actually has elevation and windage adjustments so that you can align this as close as as possible it doesn't have to be exact it's it's not like your your dot is already what is sighted in you're just looking at your dot and beyond so uh, that's that's this ring uh, to focus in uh, uh, then then once you have that then you have this ring and you can uh, focus to get the clarity for your eye for uh, the the red dot green dot uh, reticle setup or whatever that you have in yours and then it's simply when you don't need it it flips to the side and locks nice uh, uh, heavy spring loaded detent and then once you got past the lock point you can just bring it until it locks into the position to be used with your red dot I guess the the cliff note ver version for me is I was pleasantly surprised at the quality of the glass and the overall craftsmanship and again accommodating uh, uh, whatever whatever setup that you want now but the only downside is about the only, at least for me, about the only reasonable setup was to have it uh, flip this way. Um, if you do turn it around and have it flip this way, um, you would have to reach forward, which is still, which is still a doable thing. Um, I just found that it overall it was a lot easier to work with it by pressing it and then flipping it like that. If you said to yourself, "I absolutely have to have it flip this way." which is what I have my EOTech flip. Um, if you do this, then it's uh, going to be a matter of, uh, of, of pulling, pulling that forward. Still, 
I guess it would come down to a personal preference because it's just which which way that you uh, uh, install this on the uh, the flip mechanism. Again, all personal preference. The the one plus about having it flip to uh, to this side is it takes it out of uh, harm's way of possibly being hit by uh, brass and having this turn into your brass deflector. So more than likely that's why someone who's smarter than me, an engineer somewhere, said, hey, let's have it flip this way. I guess uh, any anything would be... Uh, It'd be possible, I guess. That's just a... Okay, so there you go. Um, I will have all of the uh, the stats uh, down below along with a link if you uh, would like to go check one of these out for yourself. The M43 times flip to side magnifier. Questions, comments, please leave them down below. Otherwise, uh, check out the link and see if uh, maybe if this is something that uh, uh, would work for you because it definitely makes it possible to have something like this on more of a, of a budget build. Overall, I like it. So, cheers guys, and we'll see you on the next video.